Hello guys and welcome to episode 9 of Enigmatica 6. Okay guys, alright, so let's uh, let's crack on today's episode. Alright, so we've got a few things. Um, before, between episodes, uh, I got the, the hopping um, botany pots going with the... Um, the roses so they're they're cracking along really well we've got more roses than we're ever gonna need uh i did see that see they take 10 minutes right if we <laughs> bro that almost took heaps of time um and yeah <laughs> that's a little cheating you can get heaps of roses so i did that to both of them um and yeah we got we got tons of roses more than we're ever gonna need um i found these uh oak supports as well so i went through the base and sort of Swapped out a few of the, um, the trap doors that we had that were holding up the pot plants. I like it. I like it. It adds that nice yeah, little touch. Nice little touch. Uh, all right. So today we've got a couple of things that we want to want to get into. So let's take a look up here. So we've got uh, a few things saved. We've got uh, some Xnet and a bit of mechanism. So we're going to start heading down that mechanism route. Now, I know, I know, you know, mechanism's pretty overdone, but I actually haven't used mechanism a whole lot. I've only ever really delved into mechanism once and I went as far as the three times ore processing. So, you know, it's going to be sort of a new ride for me, which will be fun. Uh, Xnet, I've never used before ever. Um, I did jump into a test world just to have a bit of a play around with it so i can familiarize myself with it and i did watch a few um die wolf videos just to sort of get my head around what's going on there uh but before we delve into that stuff and automating um some of our mechanism resources uh we're going to finish off the last two things we needed for the bees so we need to get our netherite bees and our blaze bees going so the netherite bees needed the wither roses so we've got that so that's no that's no problem we can get that happening straight away and the blaze bee needed, um, I think it was the magma cakes. Yeah, so it needs magma cakes. So we've got all the resources we need for that. We just need the um, the magma buckets. So that's what we've got to delve into. So we'll get the the seared melters going. It's pretty pretty ghetto, but it, it'll work. Um, and then a fluid encapsulator from um, the thermal series encapsulator, if I can say the words. Okay. So let's just jump straight into that. So seared stuff is going to be the usual Tinker's Construct um, gear. So we just need seared bricks. The seared bricks come from cooking up I am grout. Cooking grout, uh, which will be nice and easy. That was probably way too much. <laughs> so we will dump that into there. That cooked up. While that's cooking, what can we do? You in, you in. All right, let's have a look at the uh, fluid encapsulator while we're here. So this is going to need a machine frame, which is require tin gear. Uh, and then that's just iron and glass. It's nice and easy. I actually think I've got that all set up to uh, auto craft, but that's, that's no dramas. Uh, so copper gears, we want two of those. Nice and easy. A, uh, what is this bad boy? Flux coil. He's got a reception coil, receiving coil as well, I believe. And hey presto, bam. And we actually have the mats to make more than one. So I could have just made it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so we've got the fluid encapsulator and let's go. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of seared bricks now. I think it was, that's our heater. And then this bad boy needs the seed glass, which is like that. And then, bam, just like that. Now we've got to have heaps of seed bricks, but that's fine because if we get into tinkers, which I'd like to make some, maybe delve into a few tinker tools. I might go down that road. So we're gonna need, what else we need? Uh, magma, got a few magma creams, not a lot. So let's think about this. Uh, we're gonna have the factories in the wall here with our Xnet stuff here, I think. Uh, maybe we stick this over here now. And, and this doesn't have to be permanent. Like we don't need, oh, I can't see us needing this all the time. Well, 
We may we may have other things we need to melt, but there's gonna be better ways to melt items, that's for sure. <laughs> I just wanted to I just wanted to use this. I don't think I've ever actually used the seared uh the heater or the the basic little smelter thingy. Um so let's go. Well, let's grab a couple of tables. This is all gonna get angry at us for me. I'm out here now. If we chuck you across like that, that should be about all you need there. Now, pull this garbage out. If we throw you, and now I don't know if this can receive from the bottom. Looks like it might be able to. That. Uh, like that we'll cover that up in a second okay so hopefully that can just suck straight out of there so if we chuck some coal in here and we chuck you in there got the fastest process actually it's pretty quick and straight in here hey presto how good is that um just gonna have to do that a few times that's all neat how neat is that super easy um, no, so we're going to have to do this a couple of times. Has that given us a bucket? I, yeah, one, one, one and a half buckets. One and a half miller buckets. Two and a half miller buckets. Alright, so give me a couple of buckets. If we go to here, craft me out. Three. Bucket. We had heaps of buckets anyway. Of course we did. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we? Uh, and we chuck you into there. Oh, you, you place at the bottom. Of course you do. Of course you do. That's not what we need to do. <laughs> okay, so let's go uh, insert. That's what we want. Chuck you in there. If I had a brain, I swear, if I had a brain. Yep. You out of my inventory. Do you like this? Let's cook up the last of these. Doo -doo. Cool. I don't know how many I don't know how many bucks I'm gonna get out of this. Or how many of these. I might have to go back to the nether. I did find a um uh, a spawner, a magma cream spawn, like a magma, whatever they're called. Yeah, magma creams, magma thingies. Yeah, just, just short. That's okay. We can make one, we can make one, <laughs> one cake, I believe. Uh, we chuck that in here. There we go. Cake. And bam. And we get one. One cake. One cake is all we get. One cake for you. Uh, it's not going to be enough, but it'll uh, it'll have to do. So I'm just going to quickly go and get these uh, bees into their, their little enclosures and get that set up. And um, once that's done, we'll cut back and we'll start working on our mechanism stuff. Okay, so our bees are all in their little houses doing their thing. Uh, it actually seems like the blaze bees, from what I've been observing, um, are fine with just the one cake for now. Uh... So that's that's handy to know, uh, and then yeah. So maybe we don't actually need this many flowers, uh, but whatever. It looks cool. It it looks good, and I'd like to get a few more cakes in there just because it looks good. Uh, these guys are doing their thing. I did have to test in a um in my test well just to make sure that they weren't going to get the withering effect from the wither roses because I know previous versions of the pack that was happening, um, and you just had to put carpet over the top just to make sure. Uh, but it seems like that's been fixed and they're not dying. I hope not, because I don't want to have to mutate more. But that, uh, that will be bees for a little while. That, that's us good for, for a bit. Um, we're still going to get our emerald bee, which means a bit of exploration. But that's, that's further down the line. Alright, so let's crack on to the meat of what we're going to be doing today. And that's going to be mechanism. 
So we're gonna need a few things to start with. So there's a few things that we want to get um, automated. So if we go map condition to start with anyway, there's this, there, there's obviously gonna be more down the line. Uh, so we wanna get our basic control circuits automated, which is pretty easy. That's just like redstone and osmium. We're gonna want our infused alloy, obviously. We want that, that doing its thing. And I, I think maybe steel production. Uh, so enriched iron. So yeah, I think we'll get steel, um, steel done as well. So that one's going to be slightly different because it's going to need the coal uh, for the carbon. Now I know using the enriched versions is going to be um, where we want to head eventually. So for the time being, we're just going to use just like regular old coal um, and regular old redstone. In here we've got we've got it on tap we've got plenty um like coal and redstone i have no no dramas for us and either same with the land osmium are good we're doing good um wish that would save so there's that so i think we'll get our steel production like i said steel production infused alloy and our uh, basic control circuits on the go to start with because we have a look at basic crushing we don't need much for these, like all the basic factories that we're going to be starting with um, once we get into our ore doubling and that, they're all just going to need the same sort of thing, like the circuits, uh, purifying, yeah. Uh, this one needs advanced, oh, purification, so we need an enrichment chamber. So that one needs the advanced control circuits, oh, which is fine because we uh, we just craft that. We don't have to, we have to make that in the machines. So that's all handy. So I think that's that's what we're going to want to do to start with, and then we'll have all that on on tap. So we, that's going to mean we're going to need three basic infusing factories, uh, a controller. What else we're going to need? Uh, if we have a look in here, in here, 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 here we're going to need. Do we not have? Um, what these things called? Interface. Oh man, my brain just brain just died. We're gonna need a interface. Interface. We've got one. I'll take you. An interface, and we're gonna need at least three crafters, right? So uh, just a normal craft will be fine. What are we missing? Gene casing. Do I not teach it how to make machine casing? That would uh, seem like something I would do. Um, in casing. Uh, that can just be any stone, can't it? Uh, any forged stone, yeah. So we're just gonna with you and we're going to grab what's our stone a piece of stone just to make it simple i know that there's buttons here to figure all that out but this will do grab you and where's our fine storage one here it is oh cool. let's try that again we we'll go Crafter with an R. Crafter, let's cut up three. There we go. And we actually have everything that we need. Okay, so we'll get that crafting. So while they're doing their thing. Now let's have a look at our basic infused factory. So we're gonna need to make one more metallurgic infuser, which we can do. Really? That's that's a quest. <laughs> we would have got that already. Because we've already got these bad boys. So we need three of them. So we chuck you in there. Um, and then we want our basic factories. We should. We do this one at a time, don't we? Yep. That's fine. And a hey, presto. You stack? No, of course you don't. Because that would that that'd make life way too easy. Okay, so we're going to need a controller as well. So the controller is going to be nice and easy. We need you. 
Uh, do we have everything else? We do. Bam. Uh, let's have a look. Cables. I think one stack of cable will be more than more than what we're going to need. Uh, so then I'm playing around in the world. Like I said, I've never used uh, XNet before. I, it confused the absolute dick out of me. Um, so instead of making this a really, really long, drawn out episode of me sitting here just like beating my face against my keyboard trying to work it out, I sort of spent a bit of time in my creative world, um, in uh, my test world, sorry, and just, just figured out the basics of what we needed. So I've found that using the normal connectors wasn't really getting me there. I had to end up using the advanced connectors. Um, so the advanced connector is going to require these bad boys anyway. Make seven of them. Uh, and advanced, there we are. I think all we're going to need is three advanced. The normal connector. I think, I think, I think, I think. If we need more, we'll come back to it. So we should have our crafters. It should be good to go when we got that. And look at that. Look at us go. We've got all the things. All the things. So let's have a look at quests while we're here. Because uh, we just got a quest for mechanism. Where are we? Yeah. yeah. What do we got? Uh, rare mechanism loot box and steel. Yeah, we'll take that. And we just exploded items what did it give us dynamic tank okay don't know what that is that's that's cool shift n let's have a look uh ca the casting used for dynamic tank multi-block structure capable of storing great amounts of fluid that is very cool and five steel casings that's actually probably going to come in handy as well excellent you guys can go back in here and do we get we didn't unlock any more quests there uh for the end of the episode i am going to go and finish this off i want to know what's in here um when we handed in the last quest um i know i'm going back to bees when i handed this in i actually got bees from it so i'm hoping that maybe some of those bees that i can't find i might get from this legendary resource or bees loot box try to say that five times really fast anyway back to what we're doing so i think we might just take out the wall Probably be a little easier. That. Get rid of that. Now, power. Power. So we're going to use the X net to run the power into all this. So let's try to work this out. How are we going to do this? X net controller. We're going to want you to go. Yeah, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna do this for a minute. Move all this quickly. And we're gonna run this back here. Out of our way. Now everything should still have power. Back our system still has power. Okay, that gives us a little bit of a um, little bit of plan around. So we're going to use the the XNet cables to give power to everything. I believe. I think. I think that's how it works. I could be very wrong here. Now the crafters. Do we have our wrench? Let's see, we do have our wrench. Look at that. So these bad boys. Like I said, we're gonna need we're gonna need more, so I think this will be enough space. And if we need to, we can always like I said, we can always get rid of this as well, which is no traumas there. Um, this is gonna annoy me if I don't do this now. There we go. What about to look through there and just see the orange? Uh, so what if we? Like this. And now. 
Bear with me, bear with me, and we go. Like that. Like this. Now, just because I had to play around in my um my test world doesn't remember I actually doesn't mean I remember what I'm doing. <laughs> so no doubt, like every other episode, there's gonna be um a few comments saying, why didn't you do this? And you're retarded, you, you screwed that up, and right around. Right, right. That happens, that happens quite often. Um, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. If we dig down into here, we should better grab a cable. That's what we didn't do. Get some cables. Uh, so something we also will be doing very soon is getting a wireless RF, um, a wireless system set up for this. So that we, you know, we can just hotkey it. We don't have to go everywhere. Bam. Like that. Okay. Uh, my torch. Now, this is where I think we need our advanced connectors. Go like that. And then... This one can just be a normal connector. Right. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think that's all we need. Like, I think, I think that's it. I think that's, that's all we need. Uh, hmm. We can fit two more in here if we need to. Um, what do we need to connect to the... Hmm. See, I could be wrong. I think we need to connect to the uh, interface as well. Um, grab you. We've got our cables too. So we're just going to have to do some some janky uh, sort of cable management back here. It's, it's about to get it's about to get real jank. That should give everything power, and I think we need to do that as well. I believe. Uh, no, 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 no. So that should be able to give power to everything from that way. So let's name all this while we're here. Because I found that confused the hell out of me as well. You get to be one. And you, you get to be two. Because we're super creative. Um, and three. Yes. You're three, but you, you share you share a thing with this guy, so that's fine. One, two, three, and the rest of it should come up fine. <clears throat> These getting power? Or well, if they retain their power from the um the uh, metallurgic infuser, that's weird. That is very weird. But cool. Okay, so now this is where it gets confusing and we got to sort of sort our, ourselves out here. Um, so we go one, you're going to be at energy. I'm going to create you. We're just going to turn you off for a second. So we want create. We want to insert. And then here we want to create. So here we want you to extract. We want you to create insert. In, no, insert. And you, we want to create and insert. And now, if we go turn on, we've got no power. So I, I, I did run into some issues trying to work all this out. Um, or is it insert? And we want these ones to extract. Uh. Um, which direction are we facing here? North, dry. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely going to be a thing. I believe we want that to extract, and I believe we want these to. Insert. You. I have no idea how I fix this. I was having. I ran into this issue um, when I was when I was doing it. My test world and 
and then it just sort of fixed itself. So I thought I'd fixed it, but maybe not. That is you. See, these I can understand because we want more well, energy in input should be from all sides, so that shouldn't be a problem. Insert. Break that. Nope, that definitely didn't help. Um, again, power. And this is this is how I, I ran uh, from a power source through a cable in the test world. All right, leave, leave this with me. I'll, I'll have a play. Um, I'll see if I can get some power once I've got the power sorted out. And it's probably going to be something really simple. Once I've got that sorted out, um, I'll pop back and we'll finish off the rest. Okay, so I worked it out. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm a little stupid. Uh, <laughs> you need to uh, um, sort of jumpstart the controller first. Once the controller's got juice, then then it can make all the, the networks work. Uh, so we did have it configured right. You know, we're going to extract from the, um, the, the power source and insert into everything that needs power, but the controller needed power to start with. Derp. All right. So while uh, we've got... Now that we've got that out of control, <laughs> let's, uh, let us have a look at... I don't think we need any of this stuff anyway, but we'll hold on to it. So we're going to want some coal. We're going to want some of you, some redstone. What else? What else? What else? Okay, we can come back to that in a sec. All right, now we're going to try to work out how we're going to set these up. So we're going to want this in inventory slot here to be where our coal and our, our redstone goes, right? So if we go side config... Yellow, we nope. we want items. What do we eject? Okay, so we want blue to be bottom, I believe. Red to be top, blue to be bottom, yellow to be side. That's fine. I think. I think. I think. So top. Yep. Blue. Yep. And yellow. Do that for all of them. Bear with me. <laughs> Could be, could be doing this very wrong. <laughs> uh, so this guy still has redstone in, so we're gonna dump that because this is this definitely did that. That is very cool. Yeah, upgrade the machine and it keeps like some of its power in its inventory. That is that is cool. I like that. The blue bottom. I pull. Yeah. Okay. So we probably don't want these outputting to the sides. No. And no. Okay, so I'm gonna try to work this out again. <laughs> so we're gonna want another channel. We want this to be net items. We want you. And this off for now. We want items, we want to create. We're going to want to insert redstone, is that right? Uh, I'm trying to think how I did this before. From the north, we want to insert redstone. Which one are we doing? This is number three. Of course it is. Oops. Let's let's uh, let's just delete that like that and go do that again because I didn't mean to delete the whole thing. Go net items. Um, so we want number one. We'll play with number one because it's here. Okay, so we're inserting inserting into it. We want you like that and I believe we want to go into the interface and go like that now that is that is not doing what we want uh, so we want the interface to extract from the system we want that aha we did the thing 
So this will fill this right up and then that should keep like 64 redstone in there. Now I know we can use the um, the infused versions of it. We'll get to that at another time, but this is just so we can get this basic stuff set up for this time. Um, so that's going to fill that up. So let's do that with number two as well. Create. Bam. Is that going to... Might just be because this one's full. Let's just fill that up. Uh, I, I think I think maybe it waits till it's full. Oh my! That uh, takes a lot. Yeah, that's full. You gonna? Hmm. We've done here. That's insert. Insert priorities. I don't know if we need to play around with priorities. Maybe it waits till that is absolutely choppers as well. Have a look. I know. Look, I, I there's, there is no doubt there are better ways to do this. Aha! There we go. Okay, so that'll that'll fill up. We'll just we'll just jump start that a little bit. Let that do its thing. Okay, so that that should keep these always full. With that, and then with this one, we're gonna want. So let's go. Coal. Uh, this gets a little picky about what it's doing. A little coal. And then insert for number three. We want coal. That should. Why do you not do things? Is it because you're still doing stuff over here? Uh. Is probably a way to make this master insert single. Stack. That make it quicker? Not yet. Alright, we don't have enough redstone. Grab some more redstone. Yeah, so sorry this was a bit janky, guys. Um, but you, you're coming along with the the learning experience with me, uh, as I as I sort through working out how Xnet works. Um, I've always wanted to play with Xnet. It it always it looks like a very powerful mod. Um, there we go. So yeah, it's just got to get through its little um its little hissy fit of getting all of these filled up. Okay, so we'll grab more coal and just get, get this field. Not you. Get the carbon in there. Uh, so we want to turn these two. And that is going to fill up like that. All right. So we want these to auto sort. Auto sort. Uh, what else do we want? So what I was running into, the reason we're using these advanced uh, connectors is because they give you a little bit more options so i was running into issues where i couldn't work out how to extract from the machines so that's why we're using those now i think i needed to make another item yeah and then we go to these and we go create and we go uh extract and we want to go from down yes Extract, create down so we've got the each of these machines configured for their output is the blue which is the bottom of the machine so that's what these controllers are now um grabbing from from the down i think i could be so very wrong um and then we want to create and we want to insert uh Right, right. So that's kind of kind of where we want to be. Now the next thing is going to be. Why is my Dank up here? Why, why is Dank over there? We can get rid of all of this. So let's go mechanism again. We're trying to create these guys. So we want to make. Um, 
You. You. Um. Iron. What is this? Enriched iron. Where is enriched iron? Oh, it's iron. Enriched iron, where are you hiding from me? Let's just go. There it is. Try that again. Okay. Oh, that is that is it saved you you are good we want not the enriched iron we want steel oh man okay so with the enriched iron then we have um we we'll cook the enriched iron to make steel dust this is steel dust we go steel um steel. You can make steel bees. That is a thing. Don't don't look at bees anymore, Luke. Uh steel dust. Okay, so that is gonna be that that's fine. Okay. Now the reason I'm doing that is just because I'm I'm having issues with like every time I click over here it shows up green. I can't work it out. I know I'm doing something wrong, but we'll, we'll work that out later. Okay, so we want this bad boy. Now what we want to do is we actually want to remove the the redstone because the redstone's already going to be in the machine, right? That's what the Xnet's doing. It's feeding the, the keeping these machines with the um the redstone in there. So all we need the system to do is insert a um an iron for us. And same with this. Now what osmium do we have in the system? It is that that was me. Okay, making sure. Right, so we got that now. Enriched. The same, same deal with this, and then steel. Like this. Okay, so if we go to you and we go chuck you in there, say so we chuck you in there. And we chuck both of you in there. Let's test it. So let's have a look. Let's craft up um, 10 of these. Boom. It's a thing. Now it's slow as hell. We're going to have to do speed upgrades and, and all that. But it's done. Click a button. Making things. Fabulous. All right. So let's have a look at um, it's iron dust. Enriched iron. We don't want that. We want Steel dust. Let's create three steel dust. Go. And that's doing its thing as well. Right, so one last thing. If we go into. Let's go steel. Um, what I want to. I really gotta figure out this JEI thing. I don't know. I don't know what I've done to it. Uh, so we go redstone furnace, steel dust, bam, blam, blam, like so, and we chuck you into here, like so. Steel. Now we should better come into here and go craft me ten steel. Start, bam, and it is going to feed all of the. Enriched iron back into here. It'll, which will make our steel dust, I believe. Yep. And then the steel will end up in here, and we make it steel. So it's all, it's all thinking together and doing its thing. Woo! All right, look at us go, like doing stuff and things. I'm pretty stoked with that. So we've got enough room here to add a couple more. We, like I said, we can get rid of this if we need to, because we're gonna end up wanting to. Let's have a look. Get um, a couple of other things going, right? 
we're going to want to get all of this stuff happening and we're going to want refined obsidian um, sure there's other stuff that we need as well yeah so the metal the refined alloys um atomic alloys all that sort of that sort of gear so we've got we've got a little bit to do here yet um, and that's going to involve us making this stuff um, all the enriched versions and then we'll feed the enriched versions into the machines which is going to be no dramas there that's going to be nice and easy to set up and now that we've got our heads around what we're doing with um, xnet that shouldn't be a problem oh very happy with that okay guys so that's going to be it for today's episode um another sort of long rambly episode but uh <laughs> Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun. It was great to actually um, finally just delve into some mods that aren't bees. So that's been fantastic. Um, if you've got any pointers or anything that you think I could have done better, please drop that uh, in a comment down below. Um, I really appreciate all the advice that everyone's been throwing my way recently. Uh, but yeah, as always, guys, if you liked what you saw, please hit that, um, that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, all that sort of fun stuff. It really does help. Uh, and if you're interested, I stream over on Twitch. The links will be in the description below. But that's going to be it for us today, guys. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. Peace.